little by little I add the blue even the sky blue is not really light that I want so I need to mix with the little white to reach that value and depend on the size of the canvas that you use it's it's better you choose the amount of paint that you would like to work I think mine is not small it's eight by eight so I have more space for the background need more white to mix with blue this is the light blue color but if you see at the painting it's a little warm warm blue color I think it's it has a warm color inside it's so tricky so please be careful because uh, I, I want to add this color, the yellow ochre or raw sienna into my blue. If you add a lot, you can reach the green color and we don't want to have a green. So, so tiny bit. Take this color and add to your uh, mixture of blue and white. That's so helpful to reach something like this color. This is the light blue color, but it's so warm. The reason I really interested to take little by little because I don't want to see huge change. If you add a lot, you will reach the green color and we don't want to have a green in our sky. We would like to have a warm blue color, not cool. So this is the one that we interested. Let me bring it close to camera. It's light already, but it has a warm color. With bigger brush, I take this color, I apply it here. Any part that you need to cover it by sky color, please apply with this blue color. So flatly, you can cover it. Even the part that you add for the drawing and you don't need that, you can cover it by the tone. In some case, it's interesting to have different value. So at the same time, you can bring this cool and darker blue it's not much dark, but it's darker than the one we make. You can bring it some brush stroke on painting. Add some tone like that. Then the rest, cover whole your background with this color. I think the light is a lot on my side. Let me turn down the curtain. So I try to keep the shape of cardinals and the branch I do drawing. So I use tip of brush for those details to be a little accurate. Even if you uh, add more heavy paint on top of the sky it would be okay. I'm the fan of heavy paint on my painting always because we can have a texture and that texture make the painting so interesting and beautiful. And even heavy paint, when you use it, it's so lovely because uh, give you a chance to bring another tone to have a light and dark on top, shadow. And uh, the color takes a little more time to get dry. So you have a chance to bring another value on top. Like now I add another color, like this blue beside the tree to make different tone, light and dark, even cool and warm in my sky part because on top we would like to add the snow on top and it's okay to have a uh, light and dark blue just randomly add some brush stroke
so I make the the brown. It's okay to have it. It's we can use it pure, and then with this creamy color, we mix it by white. We use pure white, and this one for the shadow of tree trunk. <laughs> Please add heavy paint and you can use your brush stroke like toward left and right to make it uh, more similar the shape of tree that even you can cover it one time like this and then add a stroke from left and right and it's better to have tiny and small brush stroke to shape this uh, tree trunk more look like the reality and then bring the pure white color somewhere i'm going to add a little tiny stroke bring it toward center and then move to pure white color you don't need to clean your brush. We need this uh, shadow part that we have. Then move on with the white to uh, turn very gently this transition from dark to light. Then more pure white. It's already light creamy color here. So please bring more pure white color to let it make the uh, details more. Very less uh, pressure in your hand. It's always lovely to uh, let the light color sit on top of the dark one. And even anytime you can clean the brush, sometimes it's okay to take a pure uh, brown color for the shadow and bring it here, let it move and mix with the heavy paint that you already have on your surface. I would like to make more shadow on the back of bird. And a little bit more here. This color should be blend to the first color that we already have. It, it's different from the dark one that we added on top because of the shadow. I would like to have this brown and a little bit pure blue always because of the sky can affect. And you can add some stroke with this pure blue color.
red with yellow to mix this together. You can add a little bit white to let it more uh, be more lighter because white immediately make it lighter. The yellow cannot do that. <clears throat> but if we just go with the white, it's it make it more cool and I'm not like that cool color. More yellow and it depends how much white, <clears throat> how much red you add because red is so powerful. It's not easy to change the value of red. Now it's better. We have a little warm orangey tone. We have pure red and we need shadow of red that's mixing red with brown. That's good for shadow part. <laughs> pure red color to cover whole the part of a uh, body very gently we can cover it by pure red Okay, after you cover whole cardinal with the red, pure red color, we need to make it more like a feather. So we need to apply with light and dark color on top. Now we need heavy paint. I take, without cleaning my brush, I take the light color, the light value, and try to add heavy texture around uh, the face here. Tiny brush, brush stroke to shape it like feather. Let me bring it close here. You see here, I try to make it like small brush stroke beside each other. Even you can uh, bring the pure red with heavy texture, gently add on top to make a texture. And this texture make the, the fur on the body, on, on the bird. Tiny stroke like that. I hope it's visible. This is small brush stroke. I'm not going to make it blend or make it flat. The first layer, it's okay to be flat. But the next layer that I want to make it more accurate, I'm going to add the light tone. And then in between, bring the pure red color with a small brush stroke. And please add very less pressure in your hand to let it this texture and heavy texture leave on, on the canvas. Just close to the face, it's more light. So I use this light color for that part and then move on with pure uh, red color. Then we will go on with shadow part. And I'm going to bring a little move uh, like the feather toward the background. It's not just a clean line. I, I'm going to use with the tip of brush, bring this shape on, on the background. And then move on toward the shadow part, clean the brush with napkin. Shadow it's with uh, red and brown. And take heavy paint with tip of brush and randomly add on the left side uh, of bird or in the wing part go and back and let it make like a line if you cover everything don't worry clean the brush with nap uh, with napkin or rag back to pure red and repeat this movement left and right and let it Red move toward the shadow part. 
you can bring this shadow on top and then the pure red as well. And continue with the shadow toward the tail. The bottom of tail is darker, the top is lighter. So I'm going to add the darker and the shadow part on the bottom part. And then on top, I'm going to add pure red color. Then a tiny line and brush stroke, cover it on a chest. And then move on here. Then clean the brush. We we would like to move on for for big. And I, I'm going to add the pure red first to see if we need another tone or not. Just the bottom part. It's like a small triangle shape. Like that. The top part is lighter, so it's better to do uh, with the lighter value. And make it a little pointy and the pure white color just the dot as a shine we need to bring inside the eye when it's wet sometimes it's not easy i'm going to start everything by the mid-tone color which is this pure color i start with that adding Flat tone everywhere. Actually, we have this part which is black by the same color. So if I color it by, um, hold, hold the bird by this color, I disappear that one. So let me add the brown to make it separate. I don't want to lose that. And then with the pink. Heavy paint, small brush stroke. I imagine this part is a separation between the wing and the, the body. So I move on with small brush stroke to let the light color sit on top of darker and creamy. I will bring another tone, which is this one, the pure color that we use already on top. So if it's really light, don't be worried. Just add a small brush stroke to let it like that. Be heavily on top of bird body like this, be visible. And then move on into the pure yellow ochre or raw sienna. The same technique, follow that. When we have light color and the mid-tone at the same time, it gives us a nice blending together. And when you use heavy paint, already you will see the feather shape. Heavy paint, small stroke, it's like a little bit uh, like sculpting, sculpting on, on canvas with brush.
black make the uh, color dark and I have this brown as well I don't want to waste the color so I can add that too this is more dark and then with the green I can make it lighter I bring it here a little white and yellow make my green lighter White can make it light and yellow can make it warm. When you move on close to bird, be, care be careful. It's come a little bit up because uh, it doesn't show any foot on bird. It move on a little bit with the green on top of bird. Even you can add heavy texture so flat here. And then with the tip, you can make it more accurate a little bit. Uh, like a tiny stroke bring it up or a little bit down and in between you can use darker value or lighter value I'm going to add light in between because I don't want to have really dark color it's interesting different value on top and then we will add the snow color later circle is shape as the cherries you can add somewhere like here a little bit and then on top of body uh, uh, the bird tail a little bit here three of them I just randomly add some cherries spread everywhere not much a little here But the red is spread everywhere and it's make more beauty. And some here. Just a quick circle shape, connect together. Even we can we can use different value if you like. You can add some part a little darker. With one or two stroke. Then clean your brush. With this small brush, I just go take the pure white color and randomly add some stroke on top of green. Even when the green color be wet, it's it's more okay because uh, the snow it it's comes on top and mix with the green. It's okay if 
it's not really shiny and sharp. You can leave it mixed with the green color even. Randomly add some brush stroke and I use rounded pointy brush and try to add a curvy line on top like that. As I mentioned, if it mixed with the green, doesn't matter. Then clean the brush, take more 